So, um, guys, which system do you think is better? Uh, depends. Depends on your perspective. Uh, it's obviously a bigger market in the U.S. Um, I, in my opinion, um, Europe has become a little bit more difficult with that with the advent of MDR uh, rules. On top of that, Europe is not as homogenized as America, the U.S. is. Uh, not only language, but it's also uh, you can get a CE mark and you are able to now commercialize your product in several countries. However, you still have to worry about the languages, trade compliance, import exports, distribution, contractual allocations. Each country with their political changes every few years is going to have different allocations that you have to then figure out your reimbursement in every country. In the U.S., you get pretty much a carte blanche once you get your clearance and you can sell your product to a hospital system that could be from Alaska to Hawaii to California to New York. So that does allow you penetration into a large open market. Um, yes, there are some other uh, disadvantages. We can go into those. But right now, my vote is that um, if I were a startup company in US or in Europe and I had a medical device, especially a software medical device, it'd be path of least resistance for me to go to the US. Also, my preference goes for the US. Maybe for a slightly different reason is that um, I think the system with notified bodies is a bit bored in the sense that there's so much room for interpretation from one notified body to another. And there's a big lack of notified bodies building up their internal knowledge. So for us, for example, right, we uh, at the previous company we were making an AI device. What happens is you go to a notified body that had never seen an AI device before. You get questions that are completely irrelevant and they don't understand the technology they're looking at. Whereas in the FDA, it just finds, because you have a centralized body, it just has one set of experts within the FDA and they look at all the AI-based devices, they build up the experience in theory within the same team. So everyone, all the companies are exposed to the same regulatory requirements, the same review, which I think is a much more fair system. And then on top of that, with the FDA, you mentioned it already, okay, there's the option to go for, um, uh, you call it the pre-sub submission. So you can actually get free advice from the FDA. You just send them your documents prior to submission before you do a study and you ask them, hey, does this make sense? And you will get very detailed feedback, which is great. I, I mean, that's something that Europe can learn a lot from, I guess. So in that sense, uh, my votes for the regulatory system if it would function properly, it is uh, a big benefit. I think the US system has big benefits.